I wanted to give a little bit of a demo on Sidelight HD. Uh, Sidelight HD is a service that I use to stream our baseball games. Um, it's completely free at the moment. I mean, it will always be free as far as streaming, uh, the overlays, and the clipping of, of highlights. In the future, they may decide to charge for things like uh, pitch velocity features um, and then also uh, advertisements. But they've said that they're always going to keep the stream, the streaming and the, and the clipping 100% free. So that's great. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of a demo of how to use the site um, and set up your player. So when, I, when we have a, uh, a stream going on, um, when I start it, I'll typically send a, a message either through Game Changer or Team Snap to our team uh, with the links to the stream. Now, this, the link will be the live link to that particular game on YouTube and maybe Facebook. It, it, Sideline HD can support both simultaneously. Uh, but the first, you see this is an example right here for one of our Little League games. The, the first link there is to the YouTube live stream. It will always be there on YouTube. Um, so you can go there and watch it live or the, you can watch um, prior recorded games. They'll be, they'll, they'll be at that site. Um, the second link is the link to the team page on Sideline HD. And this is really where I want to go into is how to set up a new player uh, and then get access to some of the features within Sideline HD. So if you go to that particular link, and it will be different for each team. Um, this one's specifically for our Little League game, but I'm, I have a test one that I'll show some features on. So this one, this is a, my, my, my test page, my test team. And I'm going to go through the steps uh, to to register or, or um, set up your, your player. Now, you, you don't have to do this to get access to the clips um, and the play-by-play -play that's in Sideline HD. You don't have to register. You don't have to put any information about your child. Um, it's, it's, it's up to you. Um, you do, when you do that, though, if you register on the account, um, you will get access to some more features like automatic notifications that you could send up to five family members. You will also get access to customize the player card. And the player card is what displays on the lower left of the screen. As you can see here, um, this card will display when they're batting or when they're pitching. And you can customize this to show as, metal, as much, as little information as you want, or you could, you could not show it at all. So if you do not set up your child uh, on the Sideline HD team page, then no card will be shown at all. The only thing that, that's shown on the screen is the player's number up top, um, which shows the batting order. So um, let's say, let's go through the steps to set up an, a new player. Um, let's say, so when I come to this page and you find your, your child's name, you can click on them. Let's just use Fernando as an example. And it'll bring you to this page. Is this you? Uh, claim this player. You click on that. And then you have to enter a phone number. So what this will do, once you enter a, a cell phone number, it will send um, a link, a text link, back to you to register, to confirm it's you. And then also it will send a, um, a text link to the Sideline HD team manager for them to approve. Um, you managing that player. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my phone number in here. Send message. And in a second here, I will get a message. And then I will click on that link. And at this point, you do have to log in. You have to create an account here or use it actually will use either your Google or your Facebook account. Um, so I'm going to sign in with my Google ID. Awaiting verification. So since I'm also the team admin, um, I just got a text uh, to confirm that, uh, that you, or myself in this case, is able to manage Fernando Tatis. 
on Sideline HD. Okay, so once I click on that link, um, this is this is now this is the team manager. So I'm going to um, claim claim that player. Hit the check. This is this, these are my steps. This isn't your step. So um, so now you will get a, a a text back, and it will give you a link directly to their to their player page. So this is where you would come in here, and then you would st start to set up um, your particular player. Um, it, right here, it'll say, is this one of your existing players? It, it picks up my son because it knows the cell phone number. And I use the same one for, for, for Fernando. Um, so at this point, you could just um, check on this box and hit continue and be done. Or you can come in here and start to customize um, your, your player card. Now, you will have an opportunity here in a, in a moment, which I'll show to uh, change the privacy settings. So even if you decide to put some information in here, you could choose not to show that on the player card that displays on the screen, on the stream. So let me just put in some information here. It's pretty simple. You can do this from your cell phone or you can do it from any, any web browser or PC. Um, so we will just put in a few things here, put in height, weight, whatever you want. Uh, I think he's taller, he's taller than that. He's, let's put him at 6'3". Okay, he's probably like, 215 pounds or so. Okay, so once you finish that, you just hit continue and you're done. And now um, Fernando is set up on the team. He, you can always go back, either go back to the, the team page and click on him, and then you'll be able to edit his his information uh, by just clicking on the, on the pencil icon right here. Um, so this is just like if you want to add more information about um, graduation years, whatever. Uh, one important um, item here on this page is is the additional numbers to notify. So since you've registered, you will always get a notification um, when something happens. So when the grant, when the stream goes live, you'll get a notification. When your player makes a play, um, they will get a notification. Let's say they, that Fernando hits a double. After that play is complete, within a minute or two, the people that are on notification here will get a, a text that says, you know, Fernando hit a double, and here's the link to that particular video clip. Um, and you can add up to five numbers here to, to be notified. So that's a very cool feature with, um, that you, you only get if you, if you register in to the site and, and create you know, the details for your, for your player. Again, it's not necessary to do that. Um, you're able to add a picture, you don't have to. You can add a real picture, you can add a logo. Um, maybe you want their favorite team logo. You can put that in here or choose not to. Uh, the next, the other tab here in settings, this is where you can um, do some further management like privacy settings. So if you want, maybe you want uh, mom to also be able to modify these settings, you would put her phone number in here. Um, another thing is how do you want their, their name displayed? So if, if, if you want their player card displayed, um, you, could, you could modify how their name is displayed, like just first name and last initial or whatever you want or nothing at all. Um, show name on public player and team pages. So you could choose, that, choose to do that or not. Um, and there's some other settings here again for privacy. So profile picture, uh, show game clips. Um, so the way it's set by default is that everyone that can get into the team and it's not the, the team page isn't locked down. Um, but you could click on any player and you can look at their, their clips. Um, but you can, you have the ability to turn that off. Okay, I think that is it for the setup. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show is how do you get access or how do you view the clips? Um, there's a lot of things here available. So on the main page, you have the roster and then you also have all the games that that particular team has played. So you can click on any of these, these prior games and It'll bring up like if you if I clicked here, it would bring up a YouTube page for that stream. If I click on the play by play, it'll show me by inning what happened. 
Um, and if your player has an action or has played that inning or has, you know, has had plays either batting and or pitching or a defensive play and it's clipped, it will be in here. The other thing is that if you wanted to go into the, the individual player and look at their clips, there's a couple features here that are pretty cool. Again, once you're on their player page, you can edit their profile. So this shows all the, all the clips for every game that, that Lucas has participated in. So it defaults, right now it's on offense. So these are all the batting clips. Um, there's also, if you click on defense, these will be all the def defensive. So this could be pitching, this could be um, you know, fielding. Um, those clips will also be here. And then you have the ability on the clips, once you get into a clip, um, you can highlight them by just clicking on a star. I think it will highlight. Um, so add it to my highlights, and then I go back to the highlights, and then it's listed. It's listed there. So you can make a um, a highlights page of all you know the top clips, and then you can download those or share them, whatever you want to do. But let's just let me show you how to you know look at these clips. So if you click on that particular game, um, and in this one I believe he was um, I think he was batting here. Yeah, he, he's walked there and, and, and base running. So these are the clips you can watch the when you when you come to the clips, you can either watch the full at bat or just the last pitch. Um, I think it, it defaults to the last pitch. Um, so you can click on one of those and then when you play this, it will pull up that particular event. Let me close that down. And so from here, what you can do is you can either download it or you can share it. It'll give you a, it'll give you a link. Um, you could also uh, delete the clip if you don't like it. Uh, you can report it if it has some, I don't know, offensive thing that you don't want uh, uh, shown. Or you can hide it. Um, so that's reviewing all the clips offensive and let's see defensive here if there's any defensive um oh i think he so this particular one he was pitching so these are all his def, all all of his pitches here were, were recorded there will also be fielding plays um to let me see if i can find one here fielding here we go fielding ground out so i think one this ball was hit to him and he threw it Probably threw it to first. Okay. So an, another cool feature is is called hit scope. So hit scope will take every single ball that was hit. Doesn't matter if it was a, a a hit or a you know an out that was made, but it will it will put them all together, and so that you can quickly look through every single hit, not have to go by each game to each clip. Um, so this will show, for Lucas, you could see all of his hits. This goes all the way back to, uh, to September. So, and, and since Lucas has, I have, Lucas is on multiple teams. He's on a travel team and a, a little league team. Um, it combines everything together. So both teams, um, all games, all his hits are, are, are listed here. So as you start playing this, um, it'll go, it'll play that one. And then we'll go to the next game, hit that that hit. So it's a it's pretty cool that I can quickly go through every single hit. So that's a really cool feature that they just added within the last month. So I think that's about all the features right now uh, that I wanted to share. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put a comment. Um, down below and I'll try to answer it.